I just want to know how is uh, universal health care going to help someone like me who has to pay out of pocket and I'm talking you know several thousands of dollars just to have full coverage I'm got catastrophic just because I can't afford you know to have you know regular insurance like everyone else that has their own job that their job pays for their employee place pays for it. well thank you for a question for those of you that couldn't hear a question um, she's self-employed she's a massage therapist and she wants to know kind of what my mom will do on universal health care coverage um, particularly given at the moment her very high out-of-pocket expenses um, so my mom thinks and I realize um, Kentucky's had undergone more sort of experimentation under the Affordable Care Act than any other state. Um, and my mom uh, realizes that we need to protect the gains that have been made under the Affordable Care Act, um, incentivize the states that haven't, or in the unique case of Kentucky, did and then reversed, forced to expand Medicaid, um, because that will help us get very close to 100% coverage. We're now at 91% healthcare coverage across our country, a level that we've never reached before. Um, and as sort of a, a sideline to answering your question, but one I think is important, um, sometimes people have said to me, the Affordable Care Act hasn't made a difference. Um, and I find that deeply offensive because all of the data kind of testifies to the extraordinary difference it has made across the country. And just sort of one snapshot statistic that means a lot to me at this point in my life is I'm again pointing to my pregnant belly for those of you that can't see that I hope you'll share if any of your friends or family have kind of similarly been skeptical. In 2015, we had more pregnant women access a full complement of prenatal health care services and more pregnant women deliver babies in safe environments with midwives and birthing centers in hospitals than at any point in American history. So the Affordable Care Act has made a real difference, but we know that we have to finish the job of getting everyone covered and dramatically lowering the costs. Um, and so my mom believes that what we need to do um, actually goes back to what she was fighting for in 93 and 94 on two specific fronts. Um, for many people, um, pharmaceutical costs are even more of a burden than out-of-pocket expenses. And one of the things that my mom fought for in 93 and 94 was to give Medicare the power to negotiate with drug companies. And that would be good for people on Medicare. I mean, economists estimate that the average Medicare recipient would save between 60 to 80 percent on monthly drug costs if Medicare were able to negotiate with drug companies. But it would be good for those of us not on Medicare yet. I like to think I'm going to live long enough so I consider myself not on Medicare yet. Because Medicare pricing is transparent. So right now you can go online and you can see how much Medicare is paying for something here in Kentucky. And because of that transparency, it would be very hard for the drug companies to charge those of us not on Medicare yet, you know, even three times, much less 30 or 300 times what they were charging people on Medicare. Now, for other people, out-of-pocket expenses, particularly those of us that thankfully are healthier, are largely the burden. Everyone that comes to me, I educate them on the importance of it comes down to your choices first. But that, it doesn't bother me. I'm very accustomed to the crying baby. In fact, it like very much feels like home. Um, and so one of the core parts of my mom's original plan back in 93 and 94 was a cap on out-of-pocket expenses, a cap on both total premium costs and additional out-of-pocket expenses for individuals and families, either an outright cap or effectively a tax refund at the end of the year to compensate for what um, people would have had to pay out-of-pocket. And so my mom thinks pursuing either of those approaches um, would dramatically limit uh, the out-of-pocket burden that so many, um, particularly self-employed, uh, people are currently struggling with. Uh, so although it is kind of rooted in ideas that were kind of first proposed more than 20 years ago, uh, she thinks that they're very much what we need now to kind of finish the work of the Affordable Care Act, particularly on the cost side. So yeah, thank you.